Hey everybody, it's Red Thorn. Uh, I don't normally do this. In fact, I don't ever do this. But it's come to my attention while editing this latest video that you're about to see that a watermark has appeared that was never there before. Now I just found out that sometime between the last video that I did, the Open Siege video that I did, and this Fortress Siege video, the app that I normally use to do screen recording on my iPad got an update. And part of that update was the inclusion of a watermark. And this was probably an effort by the company who makes this app to get those of us who use the app to buy their, their full pro version or whatever they call it in order to remove said watermark. Now, it's partially my fault. And I apologize because I should be paying more attention to these, to the details of the updates. But I also feel like this is kind of a underhanded, dirty, sneaky move by the company, especially for those who don't or may not use their app that often and might not know about these updates and what they do. I understand why they did it. I still don't agree with it. So I have to apologize to everybody about the watermark that you're going to see. Now, if you're watching on a TV, it's going to be obvious. If you're watching on a phone, it's not gonna be that obvious. If you're watching on a tablet, you might get more into the video and, and wind up not seeing it until you look at it and then you'll see it. So again, I wanna apologize. I've gotten, I've deleted the app, I've gotten a new one, I've tested it out, a five minute test, not a 20 or 30 minute test. But the five minute test, there's no watermark. So hopefully that one will work in the future until that company decides to pull the same garbage as the previous one did. The only time will tell. But uh, thank you all for watching and, and thanks for understanding and enjoy the video. Where did you What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. Red Thorn, Lineage 2 Revolution, Fortress Siege number 19. It's been a few days since I've done a video. I've had some household things going on. I apologize for that. Hopefully we'll be able to get back into it until Monday when I get my new computer. Super awesome for that. All right, Fortress Siege. Here's what's going on right now. This is for an A-grade fortress. Now, the two clans involved one of them I don't think I've ever recorded before. The other one, this is the third time in a row that I have recorded them. And that is Elemental, the third time I've recorded them, versus Dead Soul. Let's check out their combat power. Now, funny enough, less than five minutes ago, there was only a 1.3 or so million CP difference between the two clans. Clan, combat power. And now, we are looking at a little under... 2.8 million? About a 2.8 million CP difference in just five minutes or less. That's all on the top at number three, elemental right below them at number four. Combat power, we know it doesn't mean anything. This is super close for an A-grade fortress, I think. So this should be, hopefully, a good battle to watch. All right, so, Fortress Siege, A-grade fortress, elemental. 75 million Adena spent for the right to challenge D Dead Soul for this particular fortress. Let's head into the battlefield. And as you notice, there's no bug as a spectator because about an hour before this video, I deleted the game and reinstalled. And that seems to be the only way to get rid of that bug that I know of right now. So here we have Dead Soul up here on the top in the blue. There is the leader, too high. To care. Wearing a standing uniform. Rocking a staff. Very interesting. A mage. See what's going on down here. More of the same. Interesting. A mage. Let's head on down to Elemental. In the red. Looking for their leader right there. Zulik. On what looks to be a tank standard class for any siege. Well, for Fortress Siege at least. It's a good class to play as a leader, so you can take a beating while you're getting time on the Holy Artifact. And 
There is somebody who said that I never stalked them. So I'm stalking you now, Nasilla. You are being stalked. Encircled. What's up, Nasilla? Here are some more. Now, Elemental are the attackers. As always, I follow the attackers. Taking a look at both clans stacking up on both sides. It looks like everybody is more or less there. I'm sure there's always one or two that are missing. Less than a minute to go. And there goes the fireworks for Valentine's Day. Here we are about four weeks later. And people still have them. That is fantastic. Shout out to Penguins. 20 seconds before we begin. Dooby dooby doo. -doo, -doo. 10 seconds before we begin. 5 seconds before we begin. And... Here we go! Fort to Seeds, number 19. Elemental versus Dead Soul. Elemental charging forward towards Dead Soul's non-spawn gate. There goes Galandria, doing some damage to the defense tower. Mr. Anderson is showing up. Bolt taken down, here comes Bloody Awesome. And there goes the defense tower for Elemental. Big battle going on over here at the non-spawn gate of Elemental. And so the defense tower is taking a beating right now. Halfway dead. Over halfway dead. Elemental has gotten their altar imprint and has managed to interrupt Dead Soul. But this tower here is going down. Neither team can get Dead Soul's Alter Imprint, though Elemental is trying right now. Interrupted. This defense tower is almost gone for the non-spawn gate of Elemental. Dead Soul trying for their own Alter Imprint now. The blue team's defense tower has been and there goes one of the defense towers of the non-spawn gate of Dead Soul. Working the other one down now. Still! Both teams are trying to get Dead Souls Alter Imprint. Elemental with a 10% advantage in attack and defense. And there goes the non spawn gate of Elemental. And, there, and Dead Souls already starting to attack the Holy Artifact Defense Tower. Elemental with 1 minute and 40 seconds left on their 10% buff and still neither team able to get Dead Souls Alter Imprint. How is Dead Souls? It is a little over halfway dead. Well, a little over halfway alive, I should say. But now it's under halfway alive. Good chunk of damage there. Zulik trying to get to him, he's stunned, knocked down. There goes Bloody Awesome. Doing major damage to that defensive tower right now. Still doing damage, finally taken down. Mr. Anderson has taken down the non-spawn gate defense tower. We are now tied. Dead Soul almost has their alter imprint. Are they able to get it? Two seconds left, one second left, and they have gotten it. We are tied at 10% buff for both teams for the next 45 seconds. Big advantage for Dead Soul here. Elemental is going to have to try to get their own. The red team's defense tower has been and there goes the defense tower. That is the spawn gate defense tower. Elemental putting up a heck of a defense around their holy artifact. Dead Soul not allowing them to do much else. If you take a look at the map here, whole heck of a lot going on. Right over here by the non-spawn gate of Elemental. The blue team's defense tower has been destroyed. And that would be the holy artifact. Nope, that was not. Well, uh, what was that? Was that one of the spawn gates? That, oh, there goes the spawn gate of Dead Soul. Taken out by Elemental. They can now go in by both sides. Elemental still has one fully held, or was fully held. Wow, big damage there by Nick Rogue, taking down this defense tower of the spawn gate of Elemental. Still taking it down, over halfway dead, almost dead. This tower is done! Both teams tied up again. 
Elemental trying to get their own alter imprint and have been interrupted with less than two seconds left. Elemental trying again. Dead Soul, one minute, 25 seconds left on their alter imprint. Elemental interrupted, trying again. Over halfway. Elemental trying. Oh, interrupted. Elemental looks like they're trying to put up a wall here, but they're all over the place right now. Elemental trying for their alter imprint over halfway. There goes Dr. Raven trying to get it. Two seconds left. One second left. And he got it. Great job there, Dr. Raven. Great job there, Elemental, for finally defending the imprint. That's all. Only 45 seconds left on their alter imprint. Elemental could definitely take advantage of this right now. One of the Holy Artifact Defense Towers of Elemental has been taken out. Well, we are tied. Almost neck and neck. Dead Soul still has both Holy Artifact Defense Towers though. 20 seconds left on Dead Soul's Alter Imprint. Not seeing a whole heck of a lot going on down there. Elemental putting up a heck of a defense here at their non-spawn gate. And Dead Soul's Alter Imprint is ready to be imprinted. And there goes Elemental trying to get it themselves. And there's a whole lot of red up there right now. Come on, let's go. Elemental has gotten a couple of tenths of a second. Elemental almost has. And they have gotten a 30% buff for the next 1 minute and 47 seconds. Let's see if they'll take advantage of this right now. They are met by a wall of blue. Blue team got a few tenths of a seconds there. This Holy Artifact Defense Tower is going down. It is gone. This other one is almost halfway dead. Both sides are imprinting the other... The opposition's Holy Artifact right now. And there goes the Holy Artifact Defense Tower of... Dead Soul, the final one is gone. This is now wide open. But what do we have going on down here? We have Dead Soul down here. There's too high to care. We could be virtually tied at this point. I think Blue Team might have a little bit more. But that could very quickly change. There's too high to care, the leader of Dead Soul. Dead, not Jenning at this point. Elemental having a hard time. There's a lot of blue over here. Elemental having a hard time trying to get into Dead Soul's non spawn gate. I wonder how many of them are aware. The not that the spawn gate of Dead Soul is also out. And Elemental's Alter Imprint is ready to be imprinted and Dead Soul is not having it. He was up there, looks like almost by himself. Elemental's finally trying to take their own Alter Imprint. That is... Backslash 29. Has about two seconds left. One second, and they have gotten it. 35 seconds of a 30% buff. This is back and forth with the Holy Artifact imprint time. Oh, cancel that. It is all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie to you. I couldn't even begin to guess who was ahead right now. The altar of Earth dead Soul's Altar Imprint. Available for imprint. First Dead Soul tried to take it. Interrupted Elemental tries tried to take it. 
They are interrupted. Elemental Triangle again. Interrupted. Elemental Triangle again. Too high to care is here, but he is killed. Elemental interrupted. Elemental's leader is all up there. It looks like by themselves. Just getting tenths of a second. Tenths of a second. It will add up. Big meteor shower right there. Taking him down. Here comes too high to care. And he started and got interrupted. Man, if he got even a tenth of a second, I'll be shocked. A very quick defense by Elemental. That's all trying to get their alter imprint right now. Interrupted. Ulick is trying, Ulick is trying, he's dying, he's trying, he's dying. Both teams unable to get Dead Souls Alter Imprint Elemental with a minute and five seconds left on their own Alter Imprint. Dead Soul trying to get their own Alter Imprint right now. Zulek is taking a leisurely rest. Defense does not seem to be the name of the game right here. Or there may just be too many people. Dead Soul has finally gotten their Alter Imprint. Elemental 35 seconds left on their own Alter Imprint. And Zulik got it down to 10 seconds. That is a huge chunk of time. Elemental right now. 19 minutes left in this battle though. Anything could happen. Oh! Zulik got it down to 5 seconds! Boy, that is another 15 seconds of Holy Artifact imprint time. Elemental definitely has a huge amount of time in terms of the tiebreaker. Elemental's Alter Imprint available, and it looks like Dead Soul's trying to get it. That's not good for Elemental. They don't need Dead Soul getting that right now. Elemental's trying to get their own, interrupted. Trying again. Interrupted. Trying again. Interrupted. Dead Soul's not having it. The Dead Soul has less than a minute and 45 seconds before they have to go back on their own and get their own Alter Imprint. It looks like all that back and forth of, of Holy Artifact imp Imprint is on hold right now, but it looks like Dead Soul is about to get the 30% buff. Two seconds, one second, and they have gotten the 30% buff for the next one minute and 21 seconds. Great job by Dead Soul. Let's see how they're going to do this now. Likely they're going to come down here. Elemental has a lot of time. I would say at this point, 17 minutes and 25 seconds, I think Elemental probably has a good 25 to 30 seconds. Or even more now. In Holy Artifact imprint time, against Dead Souls, however many that they have. They are at least 25 to 30 seconds ahead, Elemental, of Dead Soul. But here comes Dead Soul with the 30% buff in the next 40 seconds. They're definitely going to try to make up some of that time. But Elemental, good defense by Elemental right now. A lot of blue. Elemental didn't care. Here comes some more Dead Soul. And there is Dead Soul's leader. Stunned. Trying to get there. He... Unable to do so. Stunned. And he has started. He's got the PvP invincibility on. He must have gotten a few seconds there. Dead Souls Alter Imprint available. Both teams try to get it. Both teams interrupted. Dead Soul tried again. Interrupted. A minute and 20 seconds left on Elemental's Alter Imprint. Less than 16 minutes left in this battle. Almost halfway there. Dead Soul with 800 
900 and counting kills versus Elemental 653 and counting. Elemental doing a great job right now. I believe they are winning at this point via the tiebreaker. Not the team able to get. Looks like, looks like Dead Soul pulled back to try to get their alter imprint. A lot of battling going on right now. Dead Soul about two seconds away. One second, and they have gotten their alter imprint. Thirty percent buff for the next thirty seconds. Elemental. Preparing to get their own Alter Imprint. Let's see if they can do so. They're still ahead, I believe, in Holy Artifact Imprint time for the Tiebreaker. Five seconds before the Insanity around Elemental's Alter Imprint begins. Alright, let's see what happens. A lot of blue up here. Dead Soul trying to take it. I see very little red. But that's always interrupted. Here comes some of the red. Dead Soul unable to get it. There goes Wishy from Dead Soul interrupted and killed. Dead Soul with two minutes left on their 10% buff. And it looks like Zulek tried to, but was unable to get it. Elemental trying to get that 10% buff right now. Looks like Ibai has it. Are they going to be able to hold him? Ibai. Trying. Two seconds left. No! Unable to do so. Good interruption by Dead Soul. This is a great battle, ladies and gentlemen. Very exciting. Too high, too care. Eating up that time. That time difference right now. He's been killed, but he must have gotten a good five seconds or so at this point. I don't know. Let's see. With 13 minutes and 12 seconds left, I would say Elemental is ahead by 15 to 20 seconds now. Elemental doing a great job of preventing Dead Soul from getting that 30% buff. Dead Soul now has... 40 seconds left on their 10% buff, then they're going to have to pull some of their people back. But here comes Too High to Care again. Dead Soul managed to get Elemental's Alter Imprint with 25 seconds left on their own. We still have a lot of time left in this battle, ladies and gentlemen. 10 seconds left on Dead Soul's Alter Imprint. The altar of Earth imprint. Dead Soul's Alter Imprint is ready for someone. It looks like Dead Soul is trying to get it. Will Elemental be able to interrupt them in time? They do not need at this point Dead Soul to have a 30% buff again, but it looks like they have gotten it for the next 2 minutes and 10 seconds. That is going to be a little devastating, if not a lot, to Elemental. We'll head back down to Elemental Holy Artifact, where the battle is no doubt going to rage. Because here comes Dead Soul with that 30% buff. They are coming in force. Coming in force, coming in force. One thousand one hundred eighty-four kills and counting for Dead Soul versus Elementals eight hundred and seventeen. Dead Soul doing a great, great job of beating down Elemental, but Elemental is still winning this battle, I believe, right now with. 11 minutes left. 
there's a lot of blue hanging around Elemental's Holy Artifact, but there is no leader for Dead Soul. I'm sure he or she is on their way. Elemental trying to get... Look at it, they're at 15 seconds. Wow, they got a good chunk of time there. But there's too high to care. He's about to come back. He's all alone. He's unopposed. There is no red here. It looks like Dead Soul is about to win this battle. Five seconds left before Dead Soul successfully defends. Two seconds left. And they interrupted. Wow, what happened there? He got interrupted and he's tried doing it again. But they have definitely caught up to Elemental at this point. 15 seconds left. At this point, even if he gets interrupted, they are definitely ahead. However, five seconds before Dead Soul wins this battle. And congratulations for successfully defending their A-grade Fortress Dead Soul. Great job. The number one person was Penguins. The person I shouted, to, shouted out to in the beginning from Elemental. And then the second and third are from Dead Soul, with the fourth being from Elemental and the fifth being from Dead Soul. Here are your stats. What a fantastic battle. But it looked like Elemental could not get a 30% buff all but one time they got it. And that was all she wrote. It is devastating, especially near the end. With that respawn timer, if you're not willing to use red gems, that's really going to work against you. As you sit there for 25, 30 seconds, a lot can happen in five seconds, much less 25 to 30 seconds that you have to sit there and wait. And that is the end of Dead Soul, and that is the end of Elemental. Ladies and gentlemen, great battle. Good try, Elemental. You definitely gave him what for. You almost had it a few times. It wasn't meant to be, unfortunately. Congratulations to Dead Soul for successfully defending. Ladies and gentlemen, whoo! It's been a while. My voice is a little shot right now. And this is what happens when you don't do a video for like four days. You forget everything. Hit subscribe if you haven't. It's free to do so. And come hang out with me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.